hello everybody hope you are doing great this is hassan and in this video i will show you a step by step guide how we can track elementor form submission including tracking the form submission event we also track the user input value so let's get started to tracking elementor form easily i have wrote some code and in the video description i will share the code and this is the code and this is the code of the repository if you come to the repository you will find some little guideline how you should use the code as well as this is the real code to use this code at first we need to go to this uh, file from this repository you need to click this file and inside the file we need to copy all of the code you can just click this icon to easily copy the code and i have already opened the google tag manager inside the tag manager we need to create a tag where we should put the javascript code uh, from the tag manager i am going to tags inside the tag i am creating new tag by clicking new form submit italy the name is totally up to you you can give any name which is uh, meaningful for you this is the name and from the tag configuration section i am clicking here and we need to use custom html code and because uh, we need to put the javascript code so at first we need to write a, a script tag before putting the code this is a script tag and this is the ending of the tag inside both tag we need to paste the code and finally we should before saving the code we of course we need to add a trigger for this we can use uh, all page view trigger and then finally you need to click the save button for saving the code and now if i go to the preview mode and see what's uh, actually we're getting after pasting the code i'm just going to preview mode and this is my website link And I am the home page and then finally we need to go to the contact page to get the form and this is the form you see this is the form and the Google tag assistant is connected and we are in this page and now if we fill the form test name maybe test.gmail.com could be email and this is the service we are i am choosing the service name marketing and test message and if we hit the send button look here the form submission was successful as well as if we come back to our google tag assistant and you see that elementor form submit even has fired with all the user input you see this is the name and this is the email address as well as the service name and message you will see there are a few more uh, field here this is the post id actually the, that means this is the id of the page and this is the form id those two things is useful in case you like to distinguish which form has been submitted there might be multiple form in your website and you can uh, distinguish the form by uh, this form id and great thing is that if someone try to submit form without filling anything the event will not fire here and another thing is that in case you are submitting the right information like this but some cases the server is down or anything goes wrong with server side uh, that case is also the form tracking even will not be fired so let's 
actually this is the gtm data layer and if we like to send this information in our google analytics side we need to create another tag for this i am just going back to google tag manager again from the tag manager we like to track also our service which service uh, actually interested in the user as well as if you like you also can uh, take the username email address but for this time i am just showing you only the service fill so from the tag manager we need to go to a very we need to create a variable i'm going to variables tab from the variables tag we need to create new variable i'm just because it is a data layer variable though so we can use the naming convention data layer variable and then our field name is services service and from here we need to use data layer variable from the data layer variable we need to put the data layer variable name the variable name should be align with this name the you see that we like to use we like to take the service field so at first it is inside the inputs field so at first we need to take the inputs we are taking here then we need to put a dot and then finally we came inside this uh, object from the object we need to copy the object name this is the object name i am just copying it and pasting it after here and this is our fill input fill name as well as just uh, at first i am saving this and then i like to take another fill so that we can uh, use this tracking thing for any kind of form i am i i would like to take the form id also so from this fill it is totally up to you whether you need the form id or anything just i am coming to here and then form id data layer variable form id data layer variable and this is the form id <coughs> so again we need to take first the input and then dot and then finally we need to take the form id it is very easy and finally i am pressing the save button for saving this thing so we have created a two variable one is form id and another is a service name and if it is required you can take all of the field from here this way you can create a custom variable and uh, use to use and send it to the google analytics site finally we need to go to the text tab again and from the text tag i am pressing the new button and the name is totally up to you maybe form submit ca4 form ca4 form submit like this and tag configuration from the tab configuration we need to go to the google analytics and it should be the google analytics ga4 event if because we are trying to send the information in our ga4 account and in the measurement id we need to use the measurement id of our uh, google analytics i have already created a constants with the measurement id you can directly put your measurement id uh, but my cases this is contain my measurement id and i hope you are familiar with this if you have any confusion here of course you can uh, leave a comment below the video i will explain thing and from the event name the event name we can put anything maybe contact form submit contact form submit or the name which is uh, aligned with your business you can put here 
and then finally we need to use the event parameter from the event parameter uh, we have created the two event one is form id this is the form id and we have another parameter service service and this is the service so this is actually the name of the parameter event parameter and this is the value uh, which is coming from our newly created variable and finally we need to create a trigger so we can click here and then we need to create a new trigger for uh, this event so i am pressing here and from here i am giving the name custom event dash uh, form submit or element or form submit you can give any name which is meaningful for you and finally we need to click here and then custom event we need to put the event name if i come back here and we see that our event name was elementor form submit i'm just copying it here the event and just pasting it here and finally we need to save it and we also need to save this tag so we are all done now it is time to test it again now i am going to the preview mode option and it is connected and i am again going to our contact page from the contact page again if we press the send button without filling anything you see there is nothing no event has fired for this now we can fill the phone test name email test gmail.com and service web seo service or anything and test access so finally i am pressing the send button the form submission was successful and if I come back here and look here, you see that the tag fire GA4 form submit event is fired. <coughs> as well as if we check the GA tag, you see the contact form submit <coughs> event is fired. As well as uh, I have also opened the Google analytics from the analytics we are here and this is the debug view i am just refreshing the page for showing this thing you see that contact form submit even has fired as well as we can see this is our service name seo service and this is paste title this those are also default thing but this is our form id and this is our service if we tr again try with another thing for example another another name is to gmail.com maybe web development we need some help development just send it again the form has been submitted and if i come back here and just go to my device You see that the contact form submit even has fired again with uh, the service name is OF development as well as everything is correct. So this is all. If you like the video, you can subscribe my channel so that you can get this kind of video more quickly.
as well as if you have any question related to this video or anything related to web analytics of course you can write down uh, the comment section i will check those things and reply you so if i rec recap everything to a tracking elementor form at first we need to come here actually we need to come this repository i will share the link below the video description from the video link we need to come here and copy the code and then finally we need to come to the google tags from the tags we have created a tag for putting the javascript code this is the form submit data layer code and this is the code as well as i have run this code all page view and we have created a few variable the variable is totally up to you uh, if you like you can take the name field email field service field message field what field you need you can create a custom variable like this way and finally we have created a final tag which is responsible for sending information to our google analytics and this is the ga4 form submit this title is totally up to you and finally we have put the event parameter as this information and we have created a custom trigger if i go to the trigger name and you see this is the event name which is came from this event name this is all hope you are everything clear uh, if you have any question of course you can comment video below so this is all thank you everyone for watching the video have a good day